Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha. Call sign is Victor Uniform 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. In QST magazine of February 2015, there was an article by Richard Russo, KB3VZL, that showed us how to convert a simple digital multimeter into a relative field strength meter. There are two other hams that I know of who have already made this uh, device. One of them is uh, the Smoking Ape who has put up a video about it. He has used an analog moving coil micro emitter for this purpose. And then there is Randy K7AGE who has made it according to the article. This is the extract from the article and this is the circuit diagram to make uh, this device. It uses a couple of diodes and few capacitors to make this circuit. The idea is really simple. It converts the RF signal into an equivalent DC signal, which is then filtered using capacitors. And then there is this 50 kilo ohm potentiometer, which is used as a sensitivity knob so that the DC signal is maintained within the range of the meter. You can go through the videos and this article uh, to find out more information. This is how I have made it. For antenna, I've used a simple 2 millimeter thickness uh, aluminum flux rod. Uh, it is 19 inches in length connected to a RCA connector. You can also use SMA connector and put a rubber ducky antenna. It doesn't matter. Now, I didn't have this 0.05 microfarad capacitor as a single piece. So, I had to fashion that value using whatever capacitors I had. In this case, I had three capacitors and the combination makes it 0.05 microfarad. These are the two germanium diodes that the article talks about. Now, they have used germanium diodes. Uh, because of a uh, greater sensitivity since there is less voltage drop across them. This is the 470 picofarad capacitor. This is the preset. The article talks about 50 kilo ohm uh, preset, but I had 100 kilo ohm with me. It doesn't matter. And then the last one is the 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Now, here you see a gray wire and white wire. The white wire, which is nothing but positive to meter plus DC, and the gray wire is negative to meter ground. What this means is that you connect positive meter to plus DC, which is this terminal over here, connected internally. And negative 2 meter ground is nothing but the common terminal connected internally. And that's what I have done here. If you see, the white wire goes to the terminal called as voltage, and the gray wire is going to the common terminal. How I have used this relative field strength meter to compare two antennas. One is the ground plane antenna and the other is the J-pole can be seen in the following videos. Now for that, I first checked the SWR of the ground plane antenna using nano VNA and it can be seen that it is perfectly matched with SWR1 is to 1 at 145 megahertz. Whereas the J pole is at 1.3 is to 1 at 145 megahertz. So here it can be seen that J pole is not that perfectly matched in my case as compared to the ground plane antenna. Now let's see the testing of these two antennas, the comparison of both of them using this relative field strength meter.
So here is the test setup. I have mounted the ground plane antenna uh, on this mast and two meters from that mast is another mast where I've mounted the relative field strength meter and we would be monitoring it from this ladder where I've kept my UV5R connected to that antenna. This ladder is again two meters from uh, the meter itself. So what we'll do is we'll key up this radio and read the signal measured on this relative field strength meter. And then what we'll do is we will install the J-pole on this mast, replace this ground plane with J-pole and take the relative field strength reading again on this meter. So this will tell us which antenna is radiating better. Now the height of this meter or the antenna of that meter is in line with the point where the maximum current will be on this ground plane antenna. So since there is a radiating element and a, a ground plane element which makes a dipole, the maximum current will occur at the feed point. So this meter right now is at that height approximately. When we will install the J-pole, I will have to move this meter a little higher so that it matches with the highest point of a current on J-pole, which will be at the center of the dipole element of a J-pole. The distances will remain the same between all these things, but the height would have to be changed when I install the J-pole. This is to make sure that we are reading the point of maximum current on those elements. So say, stay tuned and we will start the testing. All right, I have already ID'd myself on uh, the radio. The frequency I've tuned to is 145 megahertz and I'm just going to key the radio and take the reading so let me zoom in on the meter all right so here's me keying the radio the reading is 2.27 2.27 let's confirm it one more time 2.27 let's call it 2.27 So here I have uh, mounted the J-pole antenna on the same mast and the feed point is also approximately at the same height. Uh, we are still maintaining the distance uh, between the mast and uh, this tripod where the meter is mounted. But you uh, would have observed that I have taken the meter up such that the antenna of the meter is approximately at the same level as the center of the dipole of uh, the J-pole. So that's uh, the element above this quarter wave stub. So the antenna of this meter is approximately in line with the center of uh, that dipole. This is where the maximum current uh, will be there. So uh, I've connected the UV5R, again we are at 145 megahertz. Uh, I will key up and we will take a look at the reading. I hope it is visible, otherwise I will let you know what the reading is and you will have to believe me. So it shows 3.41. Okay, so one more time. 3.41 okay so uh, let's call it 3.41 so 
So here you saw the use of this relative field strength meter for comparing a ground plane antenna uh, with uh, the J pole antenna. Even though the J pole antenna was not matched perfectly as compared to the ground plane antenna, it still shows a better relative field strength. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, this is Victor Uniform 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. Cheers.